Sometimes on the weekends I like to play video games. Play the real quad quads. These guys are not happy to see me. Jumped on my tack rover and shot me from standing on my tack rover. I ain't even mad at that. That's just fucking spectacular. <laughs> All right, so we're splitting up. We're doing a supply run. Oh, it's your helicopter now. I'm already almost halfway there. <laughs> oh, I found my box here. I'm up. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Totally. Hey, and down, dude. I'm not anywhere near. <laughs> I got no money in here whatsoever. I just need a couple bucks here, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm definitely out of ammo on this. <laughs> There's a guy in front of me too. Oh, you're dead, sorry. You're, you're super dead. There's a third tack rover. The third tack rover's chasing me. There he is. Took a shot at me. There he is, right here. All right, this is going swimming less, swimmingly. That was a short compilation of me playing Call of Duty Warzone. It's a really fun game throughout the whole pandemic thing. I played a lot with my friends. Seems like video games could, you know, separate people and put you in your own little world, but it's been really fun. I've been playing with friends a lot. You know, we chat, we play. It's like team building kind of on the internet. So uh, Call of Duty Warzone, check it out. Call of Duty Warzone is actually free to play, um, but it's something that I've had a lot of fun with. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Today we are gonna cover a little topic that's very annoying. It is when your last data record goes to a specific document, and maybe it's a really old document. If you have this issue, you know what I'm talking about. Somebody manually put the numbering too high and your auto numbering is much lower. So every time you push last data record, it goes to like a document from 2012 or something. I have a way to fix that with B1UP and I'm gonna show you how to do that and give you the code and all that stuff. But first, make sure you check out battleshipcobra.com. I have a Crystal Reports for SAP Business One course and an SQL for, an SQL for SAP Business One course. Uh, I hope to reboot my podcast as well. So you can go to podcast.battleshipcobra.com. It's available on most platforms, the Battleship Cobra podcast. And I might rename it to something else, but that's what it is for now. Uh, you can also look in my YouTube channel and I have the video versions as well. So let's get started and I'll explain the issue again and I'll explain how to fix it. So a little example here is, and again, if you don't know what this is, then don't worry about it. Uh, it but if you do know this scenario, then you'll be really happy there's a fix for it. Well, with B1 up anyway. So AP credit memo. So say you go to, I just did an AP credit memo because I didn't want to do it on a main document. You look here, you see, okay, this is an ad mode. I want to see the last AP credit memo in the system. So I push last data record. What's this? It goes to 2017. I know that there's been one since then, but because this number is 999, it's like way too high. You see somebody manually numbered it. Your regular primary series is way below this. So it always goes to this. Every time you push last data record, every single time it does it. And it's very annoying. And I figured out a fix for it with B1 up. Okay, so the fix, I just put it on the sales order again. Like you can put it on all documents. Uh, I just put it on the sales order. Um, I realized that I couldn't do, I couldn't do the example and the fix in the same database because I use doc number or doc entry. So it would use the highest doc entry. So even if the newest one was the, you know, anyway. So here's what happens. You see 201140, we'll just assume that every time you push this, it goes to a 999 whatever. Somebody thought they were being cute and they put that. This happens on AP invoices. This happens on a lot of things. If you're gonna use a, if you're gonna use a vendor reference number, this is a customer reference number, but if you're gonna use a vendor reference number on an AP invoice, just put it in the vendor reference number. You don't need to put it as a manual here. It should always be sequential. You could pay by the vendor number or you can receive by the customer number two. You could show both those in the banking incoming payments or outgoing payments. So anyways, what I did was, I basically just hijacked this last data record button with a B1UP validation, and then I just set it to automatically go to the highest doc entry. So rather than the highest doc num, I push last data record, 
Boom. It's pretty seamless. You can see that I output a status bar at the bottom there. So you can go from there or you can go from find mode, push last data record. It's pretty fast. Um, Rasmus said, hey, did it, does it look clunky? I don't think it looks clunky. I think it looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's, you know, I, I use a freeze and everything. So let's take a look at the coding. And again, I'll have this in a download um, below. Look in the video description. Here, edit view and validation. I have a ton of them on here. Fix last data record, one, two, six. So you can see on the sales order, <clears throat> menu ID, one, two, nine, one, which is this. Item pressed, before action true, item change ignore, inner bubble false, bubble event false. Do I know exactly what those do? No. Does it work? Yeah. Uh, no condition, just execute the function. My function here is right here. So block, I block it from doing its SAP thing. Then I go, I pull store one SQL select top one doc num from boy table, which is just any table, it'll work for any of the marketing documents, any of the regular document, marketing documents anyways. Then I order it by doc entry descending. So it takes, it's, it takes the regular table, flips it upside down and takes the top number out of there because you can't search by entry. Well, you could, but you know, you'd have to switch some things. Um, so then I say, if it's, if it's not find mode, activate find mode, freeze, set it to the doc num click find, unfreeze, and then throw this in the status bar. I like to throw these status bar messages so I know when my functions are running and what universal function. Um, so I always put those at the bottom so that I know if something weird happens, it'll be in the system message log that that's what I'm supposed to look at. And if I'm shiny, I'm sorry, because it's hot and I have lights all over me and I do have some makeup on and I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I can't leave my door open. I can't leave that window open because my cat will get out and I can't leave that door open because my cat will get in and then my cat will be running all around here. Um, so if this begin, else begin, and then this is if it's in find mode, you don't, you can't set it to find mode once it's already in find mode. <clears throat> so you basically just set it with the same thing, click on freeze. I would put the same status bar. So that will fix this. And again, I'll give you that code so you can just import it. If you do have that issue, that's an easy fix for it. So, you know, I mean, there are some workarounds. The, the workaround, it's kind of annoying, but you can go into add mode and you can push previous record. That should go one back. Um, but I just like to push the last data record and this will fix it permanently, so. Um, just something to think about. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. That's a short one. It'll be a one-up tutorial. Code is in the video description. Thank you so much for checking it out. Um, I make new videos every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So check that out. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. If you don't come to YouTube all the time, it'll send you an email when I make new videos so you don't have to watch YouTube and you never miss my videos. If you can also share this, Share any, you know, I've designed all this stuff to be uh, shareable and, um, you know, if you're comfortable with it, share it with whoever, customers, get them to check it out. Uh, I really appreciate the help. It helps me to grow the subscribers so I'll do more videos. And that's it. Thank you guys very much again. Bye for now. Just stack it up, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna get the B-roll on the point.